Hey everybody, welcome back to another Horror Mystery Box unboxing, and we have October's Band Box. Now, the themes inside this Band Box, now this is the, there's two more boxes left after this one, but the themes inside was My Bloody Valentine, West Craven Universe, Salem's Lot, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So, I'm curious to see, uh, someone left me a message and said I can't wait to, for you to see what's inside, so I'm curious. So let's crack it open. All right, here we go. All right, right off the bat, we have some tissue paper. I have I see my pen. I'll grab the pen before I pull the tissue paper. And it is the Texas Chainsaw. It is the Pretty Woman mask. He has. All right, let's get this paper out of here. Whoa. I think I knew know why uh, they said they can't wait for me to see it. Because um, when I show you this, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. This is as bad as when they just put a blank VHS tape in the box and said, The Ring. Uh, that's the kind of uh, stuff that is behind this. Um, I mean, it's not, even, it's not even... It's crooked. So they had to make these themselves. But uh, my best guess is Salem's Lot... <laughs> Uh, they didn't, he, he made one of these in Salem's Lot. I just, come on. This is just the most low effort thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I mean, you can say what you want about him. Uh, the pen wasn't that bad. I don't know what the autograph and the art is, but the prop could have been, I don't know, 20, 25, 50% more effort. I mean, look, mine's even, not even dead on straight. One size bigger than the other. So... What the fuck? Uh, this, I, I don't know what to say. I'm just so irritated. This is stupid. This is fucking stupid. That's what I have to say about this. But, I guess I'll send this to Josh and tell him it's a birthday, his a Christmas gift, is this, uh, this fucking prop right here. Uh, let's get to the art. So the art, I'm guessing, is Wes Craven Universe. I guess it's just the whole Wes Craven Universe thing. And then, I'm just still so fucking jumbled from that prop. Last up's got to be an autograph from My Bloody Valentine. I don't know if it's going to be the new one. Or uh, the original from, I, think, I believe, 81 or 82. But, okay. It is Peter Cowper. He played Henry Warden. The Miner. Now, this, if it wasn't for that prop, this would be a good box. Because this is a good autograph. This is, a, this is a very nice autograph here. Uh, I do have him on an 11 by 17 I do believe. But 8 by 10s are always nice. And the image is pretty good. Pretty happy with the image. It's dark. But, you know, what can you do? I'm going to go ahead and say this is probably one of their commons. So not bad on the autograph. But that, I don't, that prop really brings this box down. It ruins this box, I would say. Almost. Um... Because the if it wasn't it was if there was a good prop in there, they would have knocked this box pretty good out of the box of October. Because I'm used to the October box being big. If you guys remember, they used to put like props in the October boxes for the horror. Uh, we got knives every year for a long time, uh, stuff like that. But this one to be their last Bam October box was kind of a letdown. Now they do have two more boxes. And then he's been announcing that, you know, he's not wanting to get out of the unboxing game. But BAM will be over, so, like, the the multi-boxes you know, boxes will be done. But I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, this did not make me happy. I will finish out the, the BAM box, though. I will get the last two. Maybe he'll impress me with the last two. Uh, but I'm an a-hole, so <laughs> I'll never be happy. Uh, if you liked everything, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I really hope to see you guys next time.